It's no secret that Minecraft has been declining for years now, both in terms of performance but also in fun. With the last three updates for the game feeling lackluster, many point a finger to the people behind the scenes. But who do you think is to blame? Is it Mojang, the company actually making the update? Or is it Microsoft making the game feel more corporate and bland? Let me know in the comment section below. And at the end of the video, let me know if you still feel the same way in the pinned comment down there. Because today we are going to go deep and go over three examples that gives us a hint in my opinion as to who is behind the lackluster performance of modern minecraft and while you're down there hit that little subscribe button as we're close to 1k but all that boring stuff aside let's dive right in the argument of who's to blame started as soon as microsoft got into the picture see in 2014 mojang and minecraft were bought by microsoft who up until that point had a reputation that everything they touched died take rare interactive a game studio who first worked with nintendo making lots of classic games for the snes then when microsoft bought the studio in 2002 they had a few more games come out all of them complete commercial flops so when microsoft bought mojang and its ip a lot of minecrafters were worried about its future then as if on cue we had the longest pause in minecraft updates ever causing a lot of people to see 1.8 as the baseline and definitive version of minecraft so what followed the minecraft version of all time well of course the combat update the most hated update in a long while immediately debate sparked online saying microsoft meddling with the dev team made this update so bad or maybe it was notch leaving the project and left the team without a clear goal or directions it was clear microsoft wanted to be hands-off with minecraft java and mojang at the time so that leaves us to look on the other side of the aisle and ask the question was it Mojang? Let's get one thing straight. Mojang nowadays is a far cry from the Mojang that released 1.8, with Minecraft now being a large IP with Java and Bedrock editions, two spin-off titles, and a whole lot of merch, Mojang is a large company, but it doesn't have investors. See, Microsoft is a major shareholder and owns the Minecraft IP as it bought it from Notch, but that doesn't mean they have an iron grip on the dev team. At the end of the day, Mojang itself decides what goes into the update and when. We've seen this in action. Take the mob vote, for instance. If Microsoft has a plan for the game, why wouldn't it allow a public vote if they want to control how the game is made? Now, obviously that isn't concrete proof, but it is a clue on how hands-off Microsoft is. As long as Mojang brings in the cash, they don't care. That being said, a lot, and I mean a lot of people hate the Bedrock edition of the game. And this is mostly the older community, as younger and newer players usually pick up Bedrock first, as it's on a lot more platform. So why does the old generation hate Bedrock? Because it's a bug-ridden, microtransactional hellhole of a game. I'm sorry, but just compare joining a server on Bedrock and joining one on Java. On Java, you just boot up the game, choose multiplayer and enter an IP to join the server. On Bedrock, you need to open the game. Don't get a seizure from the amount of money they ask from you. Navigate to the multiplayer sections, scroll down past the partnered servers, and then you can add an IP in there. It's a nightmare. And this is only one of the things wrong with it. This has to be Microsoft's decision, right? I mean, they likely want Microsoft to be more accessible for the little kitties on the Xbox, right? Until you realize Pocket Edition was released as soon as 2011 and was an early attempt of getting Minecraft on more devices. And while I think Microsoft was likely involved in its creation, the idea likely still came from Mojang, as they are the ones who made that studio in Redmond. Another thing a lot of people point to is Mojang's migration to Microsoft authentication system. And oh boy, this kicked off a real storm on the old bird side, as you could lose your account if you didn't switch, with people screaming at Microsoft to stop ruining the game, because we all know, gamers hate change. But in all seriousness, a lot of people saw this as a needless corporational move and the warning sign of things to come. But this has to be Microsoft, right? This smells like a corporation clamping down on, on poor Mojang, right? Well, let's take a look at the old authentication systems. These servers were very insecure, with a lot of hacks and accounts stolen over the years, so it wasn't Mojang's best interest to switch to a more reliable and secure system. Luckily, Microsoft already provided this. Now, of course, Microsoft also benefits from this, but again, Mojang benefits the most. And now we have reached the tipping point, the chat report feature, the most hated and biggest controversy that Minecraft has ever had. And according to a lot of people, this has to be the pure work of Microsoft. They want to make sure no one could hurt the cash cow while also harvesting our information and chats at the same time. But is it actually them that pushed it? 
Or was it Mojang? See, recently we covered the story of GTM, the GTA server that got hit with an email from Mojang stating they were not in compliance with EULA and needed to change the guns to quote, preserve the child friendly nature of Minecraft. That was purely Mojang as it's their responsibility to enforce EULA they made. But a lot of people forget this message. This pops up every time you go on Java to play multiplayer for the first time. This is purely for legal protection. Let's say someone does illegal stuff or an illegal deal on a Minecraft server and on a random small Minecraft server. If the feds found out, Minecraft could be held accountable for facilitating that deal. By stating they can't monitor every server in the first message and the chat report function hinting that it's your responsibility to report this, they can use it as an out. They separated themselves from everything that happens on third party servers and if you don't report it on third party servers, it's not their problem anymore. So what do you think? Do you still think it's Microsoft? Or do you still think it's Mojang? Do you think Microsoft has just eroded the morals of Mojang and controls the game from the shadows? Or is Mojang just getting more and more corporate while getting stretched thin because of all the games they're making and maintaining? Personally, I don't know. But if I was a betting man, I would bet on it being the second, with Mojang just getting less and less interested in Java alone. Whatever the case, the days where all they focused on was the community of a single game are long gone. And so is the Mojang that cared. Of course, this is just my opinion. And I'd love to hear yours down below. But for now, I was Lunar, you've been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.